next thing I'm going to do to this, I'm going to take the smoke pipe off. I'm taking the screws out. Alright, I want to take the smoke pipe off. And then I'm going to take this and take this outside. That's one of the first things that's going to catch fire. Yeah. Now I've got a lot of it from when I ran from down from the chimney because I went right down. But the thing is, is that I'm I, I, I'm not satisfied with just that. Basically, that's the smoke pipe. Now I'm going to get the stove itself. the stuff that came out. I'm just going to sweep that down. Sweep that down into the firebox. I've got this pot here. Keep all that dust from coming out. Now, Now this hasn't been done since April. Well, we haven't used it no. really. But now in the winter, as a rule of thumb, I always four to five weeks to do my. I do it. And sometimes to do it more often, depending on how much you're burning. Yeah. Right. Because there's been t there's been a couple of months we did it twice a month. Because like, I'm not burning hardwood. I'm burning softwood, so it's a bit more resiny. So you want to um, clean the rope a little more often. You're choking on you? Yeah. Oh, not too bad. More concerned about the the critters, though. Yeah, well, we're right. We've done this before. A lot of action, huh? Now, I always use a metal container because uh, we had a fire this morning, and uh, I let it go out. It's still, it's still hot in there. But it's still pretty warm in there, so you got to have a metal container. But that's not smoke coming out. That's dust. Yeah, that's dust. Mort's hiding her head. Now, I never clean it out totally. I always leave a layer of ash in the bottom. All right. Now, I'm not sure why I do that, but I find... Well, it, it holds the heat. 
uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit better if you do it that way. Now I'll take this outside and I'll refit the smoke pipe. Have anything to say, Izzy? Well, what I do is I got a big rock here, and I leave it on the rock just in case there are embers and stuff in it. Although I, I, I don't <laughs> expect the, the grass would catch on fire now, but just in case, you you you, you got to err on the safety because there are a couple of sparks in there. Remember how things go together. Shut up. Now, what I'm going to do, hopefully, this will just slick as snot. If not, cover your ears for a lot of cursing and swearing. I swore once. <coughs> once? Now we're ready to restart her back up. And uh, all I, well, what I have to do is I've got to put the screws in it. Right? So it doesn't fall out. But that's basically it to cleaning the stove. There's really nothing to it. The big problem comes if you've got a really high roof. And if you do have a really high roof, there is a way to do it going up through from the floor. All you have to do basically is go up and you put a bag around the top. You put a hole in the bag for your rod, and you just feed your rod up, screw it together, and keep doing it, and you can basically clean it from that, but you don't get your cap. So I like to go up and do the cap. Sometimes I'll clean it from the bottom, but for the most part, I always clean it from the top. Anyway, until next time.